Katie's wearing a very short shirt today. Mwah, have a great day at school today, babe. It's the third day of school, and you're late for the bus already. Yes, I have. Uh, yeah. There's a banana, goldfish, fig bar, two clementines. Is there a sangi in there? No sandwich? <gasps> no, Brendan, we have so much bread I can't even tell you. One, two, three. Okay, hold on. If you make it frozen by the time you eat it, it's gonna be thawed. Bread thaws wicked quick. Sandwich, banana, goldfish, fig bar, two oranges. I think there's something else down there. What else is in there? Oh my gosh, two bagels and a granola bar. Wow. That's good. That's Brennan's lunch, you guys. It is 6.50, but not really, because this is five minutes fast, so it's actually 6.45. Their ride comes here at 6.50, and we're getting ready. So yesterday, I went to my parents' house. They're moving. My parents are downsizing. So it was time to go to their house and grab some other stuff. Good morning. So let me show you what I got. Oops, it's reflecting. There it is, there she blows. That is my senior picture. Yep, little jelly. Well, I guess I was 17, but anyway. There she is, good morning Katie, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, are you ready for your day? I am. Katie's wearing a very short shirt today, against my better judgment. Oh, well, talk to us. It's purely a fashion thing. I see, and it's very fashionable. And if I get uncomfortable or dress kitted, I have shorts and a sweatshirt that I can just throw on. So. Okay. I'll just raise my hand like this. Good, yeah, oh, right. Oh, ride. oh, here comes your ride. Are you bringing this oh, backpack? Okay. I'm not gonna stop. That is the way. Mom, will you pass me your life, please? Sure, like literally pass it. I mean, you don't have to like throw it. <laughs> I'd love to. And are you taking it naked? Yes. Okay. You. You're welcome. Where are they? In here somewhere? Oh my goodness, can we get a juice? There we go. Oh, thanks Brennan. There you go, Kate. I love you. Mwah, have a great day at school today, babe. See you after. Bye. Kate, you gotta go. Have a great day at school, I'll turn your lights off. Yeah. I love you, Mwah. I understand. Thank Bye. You. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And there's my guy this morning. Very nice, very color coordinated you are. Yep. Okay. You have everything, I'll get, oh, I'll get your lunch out. Thanks. Get your backpack, let's go. No time for delay, uh oh, I'm not sure we're gonna make it. Ah! Ryan, you were supposed to do all of this last night. What do you mean all this? You are supposed to pack your bag the night before. So everything's ready. Oh, well, hmm. is that everything? So, like, what are the chances of like you dropping out of school? Very slim. I gotta really? go for a run Wait, today. For real? Mm -hmm. That's not good. Oh my gosh, it's the day. It's the third day of school, and you're late for the bus already. What's our trajectory now? We're not gonna make it. Oh, okay, a trajectory. Good word. I'll drive you just because you use the word trajectory. But yes! I will tell you. <laughs> This is not a good way to start the year. God bless you. God bless you. Do you understand? What's up, All right. guys? Have a awesome great day. To see you guys. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go for a run. And then I have a dentist appointment 
It is now, this is how I roll, right? It's 9.04, my dentist appointment is at 10. I'm gonna try to run really fast. <laughs> like fast run and run that doesn't take that long and then make it to my dentist appointment. How are you guys, I finished my run. It's actually cool and windy. It's not really cool, but it's like the Hurricane Dorian is sweeping by us or coming towards us, I guess. So it's a little breezy, which made it a really nice run. Woo! And so that's my third run of the week. So story time. Let's be straight here. I love working out. I love it. I particularly love running. However, I find myself oftentimes putting other things in front of working out, like work or kids or husband or house or clean or that kind of junk. And so sometimes I don't stick to a regular running schedule. Actually, often I don't stick to a regular running schedule. When I was training for marathons, I had a regular schedule and I stuck to it pretty well because I was, I had a goal. But now that I've sort of sworn off races, I've done enough of those, I find myself being cyclical with my working out. I don't know if you guys have the same thing. First of all, do you work out? Comment down below, let me know if you work out. If you do, tell me what you do, because I'm always interested in hearing what other people do for workouts. Like some of my friends do cycling. I, I tried it one time, I could not stand it. But like Pilates interests me, bar interests me, um, like core conditioning. I used to do step aerobics back in the day. Swimming interests me, but I'm like getting wet. <laughs> so that's kind of, mm. but running just is the easiest thing. You throw on a pair of shoes and you go. And you go wherever you want and you go as long as you want and you come back. It's not like you have to be in an hour class. You can go longer if you want, shorter if you want. Anyway, so let me know what you guys do for working out. But, and also let me know this. So I get into this cyclical pattern of working out. So I'll like do really well for like a month and then I stop for some reason. And it takes me a while to get back on. And I really just wish that I was able to have a consistent workout routine. And I think last winter I did, and the winter before that, I think I'm going to now. I'm really gonna put some effort into it so you guys can hold me accountable to whether or not I am working out. It doesn't always have to be running. I'm trying to mix some stuff up. So that's my deal, but I have to hurry up and get ready because I have a dentist appointment, 10 o'clock. They're going to replace a filling in my mouth, and I'm not looking forward to that, but, um, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, have a fantastic day. I might not see you again for a while. I'm planning on maybe doing some errands this afternoon, so maybe I'll take you with me. Hey you guys, I'm out and about running my errands. I got my tooth filling in, and do my smiling funny? Actually, it doesn't look that funny, but it feels really funny. Over here is all like numb and all that junk, but I think she did a really good job. In and out, 20 minutes. But I'm right now at the store to get Katie a graphing calculator. So I guess she needs one and Ryan needs one. I think these things are like a hundred bucks, so I'm not very happy about that. Um, and I get, but I guess they can't use their phones. They were told they can't use their phones. So I'm gonna have to get a gra two graphing calculators. Well, this is the graphing calculators. Looks like they're sold out of the Texas Instruments. So, and I'm not sure if that's exactly what they're supposed to have. We could get the Casio. So I've texted Katie. I don't know what to do. I've texted Katie and we might come back. I'm not sure. He said we can order it online, so. All right, you guys, I don't know how much of that you understood, but it was kind of a bust in there as it relates to getting a calculator. All the Texas Instrument, instrument calculator, I can hardly talk because I have, uh, I have, Novocaine in my mouth, but anyway, the Texas Instruments calculators were all sold out, and apparently that is the creme de la creme of graphing calculators, and the guy in the store said that most of the times the teachers request that you have Texas Instrument ones. They had a Casio there for $43 versus the Texas Instruments at $134. So I'd much rather get a Casio, but I don't wanna buy anything yet until I hear what the teacher has to say and what they're actually supposed to have. So, Going to school is very expensive. Katie Elizabeth. Did not get dress coded once. Did anybody say anything? Katie, you look adorable today. Katie, your outfit's so cute. Katie, where'd you get that outfit? Wow. Oh, look at the shoes. Are those Molly's? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. So no, no teacher said anything? Nope. They must yeah, not be. This is not out all day, I promise. They must not be serious about it. Yeah. About dress coding. We're gonna be cracking hard down on the dress code this year. People show up in like literally bathing suits. Oh my gosh. What is Crazy. this? Crazy. 
Oh. Why are you pretty? <laughs> Thanks. Stop. You're such a cutie. Oh, have you never seen that picture? I wonder I got it. Aw. Wait, and do that pose. You might look just like me. Let's see here. Oh, Katie, you do look just like me. That's yeah, so actually. funny. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That is funny. The yeah. only thing was, I couldn't raise my, I didn't say one thing in class all day. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. I looked at my arm and like... Well, you said you were going to raise your hand like this. Like just... I eh. tried, but no, it didn't no, work. No, just, can see <laughs> <laughs> just shout out the answer when you like wear that shirt. To, I was trying to ask a question in Gov and I was like... <laughs> 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 I probably looked so dumb, but I was like... Couldn't you just hold it down with your other hand and like raise your arm there? Like, well, no, not you. No, it's that's so, bad. Oh, and that's I was so like, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> um, I just won't ask. All right, exactly. We'll ask later. Maybe I'll send her an email. Right. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Anything else you have to say? Mm. Not to the camera. Okay, bye. Oh, some private information. I'm gonna get the tea. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later. Bye.